before you would ever talk to a parent, before you would ever do anything else, I think you turn to your friends. How many of you have somebody that you would say is one of your best friends? And you could probably tell them just about anything. Okay, so you tell them what's going on and they're like, I know, my mother's stupid too. I can't even say I'm going to fall off. Uh, don't worry about falling. Everybody trips on occasion. <laughs> but they don't give you all of their serotonin that they have some special things they need to do on their own. But they'll give you some because they're friends and they try to help you. Okay, and then um, you have some like little activities that you do, and sometimes that gives you a little bit, you know, like the lap really helps. Okay, and then how many of you have a pet or a, a you know, a cat or a dog or a lizard or alligator? <laughs> okay, and how many of you know that no matter what you do, they will love you because that's their whole job, their whole life is to love you. Even when nobody else loves you, they just love you. The fact is, sometimes you just want to go, stop loving me so much. Okay? I have cats. I don't know how many of you have cats, but cats are fine. Um, because I can, I have one cat that is just ugly. She, she is a Scottish Fold. Does anybody know what that is? Um, their ears look like somebody chopped them off. They have these little tiny uh -oh. things. And their face is pushed in so they look like they ran into the wall. And, <laughs> okay. and her butt's higher than the front, so she walks with her butt in the air like that. Prancy, prancy, like this. And she's just ugly. And I say to her, Oh, you're the ugliest, ugly pretty I've ever seen. And she's like, Oh, <laughs> Okay? And I mean, I could just probably kick her across the room and she'd be back and go, that was mine! Okay? Pets just love you. And pets will love you and love you and love you and they don't care the day. Hey, I don't have any serotonin. I don't care. I'll squeeze them out for you because I love you. Because you are my best friend. Okay? And um, now you've exhausted like your best friend and, and your um, pets and your activities and your hobbies you have or whatever. And then some of you are lucky enough to have that hunk fox chick big heart throb romance. <laughs> <laughs> How many of you have one of those? Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Anyway, anyway, so then you call them and you're like, oh honey, and, oh, it's so awful. And they're like, I know honey, sweetie baby, I know, I know. And I'll hug you and love you and it'll be great. Aww. <laughs> You know, you, you suck them dry. How many of you just like, just suck out all the serotonin? Okay, and they look at you and I can't be with you anymore. You just, you make me crazy. Okay, because, you know, you can't always depend on your friends to give you everything they got. Some of them will and then they get resentful because you never give anything back. You're a screen person. And, um, then, you know, they'll call a hobby. I ain't getting it anymore. And, Oh, jeez, my pets are done licking me. <laughs> okay? And we put a lot of stress and pressure on all the people and wonderful things in our life to try to get our serotonin le uh, levels back, and it's just not working out so good. So um, we meet something called Jack Dance. <laughs> Ooh, la la. That was good. Oh, that's very good. Let's have some. Okay, just check it out. <laughs> we love Jack Daniels. We love them. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? Then all of Jack Daniels. And guess what? Your serotonin level is still not anywhere near where it was when we started with this. So what happens is then some people go, Oh, look at that. Look at that cocaine. Let's try that. And this is the wonderful stuff that drug addicts find in their brain. This is the magic. This is the thing that they keep looking for for the rest of their life. And it doesn't matter why you start using drugs. The reason you keep doing it is because you have to. Okay? And that's what they're looking for. Does anybody want to tell me what just happened? Okay, let's raise our hand so I can see if any of what you said is anywhere near the truth. Yes. When you start out with a certain level and then when you use the drug, then your level goes up, but then as it goes up, you lose all of it. So when you come back down from your high, you're less, 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 less. Okay. 
Okay, I don't know if you all heard what she said, but I picked the exact right person because she said exactly what happens. You start out with a certain level, and your goal is to make that level go up because you want more serotonin because you want to feel good. And you put so much of that in your brain that it took you all the way up there to where you were exploding. And isn't this wonderful? But when you're done, and this magical thing goes away, which it will, every single time it will go away, you are left with less than what you started. Okay? And that is what happens in your brain. Because that drug will do that for you. But when you're done, you have less than what you started with. That's the point. Anybody have any questions? I didn't think so. I was thorough. Hey. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to tell you about the dolphins. Um, the dolphins are called Endora. Endorphins. Endora. Okay. Okay. The dolphins come out and swim in the serotonin sea. Now, the the next thing I want to do because I wouldn't want you to sit here and see this wonderful little fun demonstration, which the first time I did it, I tried to put something in the in the uh, heart to make it red, the food coloring, and somehow it mixed with the Jack Daniels.